Hey, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 14 and in this video we're going to start working with classes. Wow. Okay then, so in this tutorial I want to show you three simple methods in jQuery that we can use to manipulate classes in your HTML documents. And the three methods are remove class and that does what it says on the tin. It removes a class that you specify from the matched elements. Add class does exactly the opposite. It adds a class which again you specify to the matched elements. And toggle class kind of combines these two together so that it adds it or removes it depending on its current state, okay? So let's start with this remove class. And what I wanna do is remove this wrapper class from this div right there, okay? So if you remember, the wrapper is keeping everything centrally. If I remove the wrapper class from this div in the header, then the header is going to splay right to the left and right and go full width. Make sense? So let's do that. Let's first of all grab this div. Now we know it's in the header, so we can write header dot wrapper. Yeah? And it's going to grab that div right there. Then all we need to say is remove class. And the class we want to remove is the wrapper class, which is that thing right there. So let's save that and view full screen. Now you can see it's no longer keeping it within the central column because we've removed that class, all right? Now what we can do is add the class. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna paste it down here and I'm gonna change this to add and we need that dollar sign at the start. Now this is not gonna work. And the reason it's not going to work is because it's looking in the header for a div with this class. Now, we removed this class right here, so it no longer has that. So instead, what I'm going to do is the descendant select like that, the immediate descendant, and then say div. Now, what this means is get the header and then get the div that's directly under that header, the direct child. Okay, so it's going to grab that div right there. If you don't know what this means, then feel free to check out my CSS for Beginners playlist. I'll leave the link down below. So now we've got that div, we want to add the class wrapper. So it's going to keep it within that central column again. So if I save this again, then we should see, yep, it's within that central column. Now the last one right here, toggle class, is a little bit different. Typically we'd use toggle class if we, for example, click on a button. And that's what I'm going to do for this um, little example. Now what I want to do is say when this button is clicked right here, I want these to show. Initially, I'm gonna hide these. So I need to go into the CSS first of all. Let's do that, let's go into the style.css. And you can see I've added this class right here, open. And then we've given open a height of auto and set that to important, okay? So then basically whatever the height naturally is, is gonna be that height, okay? So what I wanna do now is find this element in the HTML. You can see it's down here somewhere, lead banner main content points of sale. Now what I want to do is just say style equals height zero and then overflow hidden. Save that and refresh over here. Now because this section has a height of zero and we're saying hide anything that overflows that height, nothing is showing whatsoever. Right? So what I want to happen is when we click this button, I want this to show. And to do that, what I need to do is add the open class to this section. Because when the open class is applied, remember, it's giving it a height of auto and setting it to important. So it's going to override that height of zero rule. Okay. Then when we click it again, I want it to take this class away so that it hides the content again. Make sense, yeah? Let's do that. Now I'm gonna use vanilla JavaScript to do this event because we've not covered jQuery events yet. So the first thing I wanna do is grab this element right here. No, sorry, this element because that's the click event. That's where the click event will be happening. So that is in the lead banner and it's this thing right here. So let's grab that. We say var button equals and then we can use jQuery to grab it it's in the lead hyphen banner and then it's the anchor tag within that and there's only one so it's going to grab this thing right here 
Okay, now let's do the JavaScript event. We say button, and then we need to unwrap it, remember, because we're going to use vanilla JavaScript. So we do that by specifying which object we want in that array that it's returned, that JavaScript object. So we've unwrapped it there by specifying the zeroth one. Then we can say dot on click equals a function. And then within that function is where all the magic is going to happen. So basically all I need to do in this is toggle the class of this points of sale section. Yeah. So let's grab that points of sale like this. And then what I'm going to do is say toggle class. And the class we're going to toggle is open. And then after that, I'm going to return false. And the reason I've returned false is because when you click this button, I don't want that to be, I don't want it to go anywhere. Okay, so I'm returning false. I'm kind of negating that default behavior by an anchor tag. All right. So this should do it, guys. Let me just save that and test it. If I refresh over here, view our work. Yeah, it shows up. Click it again and it hides it. On, off, on, off, etc. Okay, so what's happening here, guys, is that we're saying every time we click this button, yeah, toggle the class open of this points of sale, right? So currently, it doesn't have that class. When we click the button, toggle the class, which means basically give it that class, right? So when we click it again, it currently has that class, so take it away. That's what toggle does. Gives it or it takes it away, depending on whether it has it or not already. All right, then. So they are the class methods, guys. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next video.